When you print off your worksheet, if you'd like something repeated at the top or bottom of every page, known as headers and footers, so the heading of each page is in the heading section, and at the bottom and the footing of each page is the footer, like maybe you want the author's name on every page, logo, date, page numbers, you can do it one of a couple of ways. You can either come up here, click on the File tab, and go backstage down to Print, and then just come down here and click on the Page Setup link, and there you go, Header and Footer tab. It gives you a preview up at the top when you want to add a header by clicking on Custom Header or Custom Footer with the preview down below. So you can either bring it up here, or if you're not backstage, click Cancel. Let's click the back arrow, go to the Page Layout tab, go down to the Page Setup group, and click on its expandable dialog box button there. And then you've got the same tab here. So to add a custom header for the header section, go ahead and click on Custom Header. And you get three sections up at the top of every page that what you put in one, again, repeats at the top of every page. So in the left section, let's go ahead and put in the author's name. That's me. Thank you. And then you got these buttons here, like when you hover over that one, it should say font to format your font. That inserts a page number, number of pages, date, time, and so forth. Just hover over them. I'm going to go ahead and select my name because I want to customize it or format it by clicking on the font button and saying, OK, we're big, bold, and beautiful. And let's do size 14. Give myself a fancy color and say, that's good. Okie dokie. Ooh, that's nice. Go ahead and click OK. And hey, there's a preview of it. And then let's go ahead and add a custom footer. Click on that. And let's say in the bottom right section, we want to go ahead and add the date. Click on that, adds the date code, which means it's the code for today's date. So if I created this like several years ago and I add the code, it won't have the date for several years ago, but today's date. Or whatever date you open it up in and print it off, it's going to be today's. So go ahead and click OK, and hey, there we go. And then you can go ahead and click on Print Preview to see what it looks like. And in the top of every page, or the first page, got my name, the bottom, the date. Click on it to zoom in, and then scroll over and down to see today's date. And then let's go to page two, click on it to zoom out. There's today's date and my name. Nice. Let's go ahead and hit the back arrow. Now that's one way. Another way is to come up here and click on the insert tab and go to the text group. Let me click on it and click on header and footer. Now when you click on it, it's going to take you to a different view, not the normal view, but the page layout view, but in header and footer format here. So when I click on it, you can see I'm in a different view. In fact, if you come up here and click on the view tab, and you want to get out of this view, you can't do it. No, I'm kidding. Well, you can't do it as long as you have your cursor flashing in one of the three header sections or footer sections. So if you click out, hey, guess what? You can get out of the page layout, which is highlighted because that's the view that we're in, and go to the normal view. But if you come up here and you click anywhere in the header or footer section, it freezes and it says, ah, you can't make any changes because what you're working on right now is up here on the design tab, header and footer tools. Or you can go ahead and come here, but I suggest that you take a look at this because you get a lot of features that can help you out with what you may want to add to your header or footer sections. So like, for example, maybe over to the far right section, we could add the current time. Let's go ahead and stamp it. Boom, adds the code. And then let's go ahead and add a picture. You can add a logo if you want. It's the same thing, but it's going to be a picture. So in any case, come up here, header and footer elements group, and click on picture, picture. You can go ahead and search the internet or browse on your computer. Click on Browse. I'm going to go to the desktop and find my computer. Beep, beep. Double click. And you won't be able to see them. You just get the code for that picture until you click outside of it. And hey, there he is. There's my beep, beep. And he's playing on a very old computer. In any case, looking at that picture, I'm thinking a couple of things. Okay, that's close to the top. How about if I go ahead and push it down? and bleach it or wash it out so it's not so dark that I can't see the data in front of it. So to do that, go ahead and click back up in here, come back up to the Design tab, and click on Format Picture. Now make sure that you got Picture selected, the coding, and then go ahead and click on Format Picture. You can change the size of it, so if you want this guy to be a bit smaller or larger on the spreadsheet, then go ahead and change the height. And when you change the height, it'll change the width. So if I go smaller, because it's in locked aspect ratio. What you do to the height to keep it proportion also keeps the width in check so you don't have something that when you change the height and make it smaller that the width is still the same so it looks like he's being crushed. In any case, let's go to the picture tab and change the color from automatic to washout. 
and that gives us the options down below for brightness and contrast that default 85% brightness and 15% contrast. If you want something brighter or something more contrasting between the pixels, then go ahead and play with that. Otherwise, go ahead and click Okie Dokie and let's see where we're at. Hey, that's not too bad. I can kind of see them in the background, but it's not getting in the way of the data where it's so bold that it's hard to detect the data here or define it. And then if I want to be able to push the picture down, then go ahead and click in front of the code, hit enter, 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 and enter. That's pretty good. And then click off, and hey, it gets pushed down. Cool. Now, if I'm up here in the header section, go back up to the Related Contextual Design tab, and I want to jump down to the footer because I want to add, like, page numbers so I can tell what page we're on after we print it off. You can either scroll down to the bottom of it or come up here to the navigation group and click on go to footer. It goes to the bottom of page one or go to header. It goes to the top of page one. Back and forth and back and forth. And let's go ahead and click in the left section and add some page numbers. Come back up here to the header and footer elements group. Click on page number. There's the code. But the problem that I run into with this is that it just gives me the page number and not the number of pages. I want a combination of both because when I print this off, when I hand off the first page to somebody and they go, oh, page one, that's nice, they wouldn't know that there's a page two unless, let me hit the space bar, I type in of and hit the space bar again and enter in the number of pages in this worksheet. There's two pages. So it's going to say page one of two pages. Now what you do in one will duplicate in all the others. So this is all on page one, right? So it should update to page two, and you can tell up at the top on page two. In the header section, we added the current time. Well, the current time's at the top of page two. So if I go ahead and scroll down at the bottom of page two, should also be in the footer section, the page number and number of pages that are to be printed, and then also the current date. And then, of course, you can always customize these codes if you like. Click in there, click and drag to select it in the mini formatting toolbar bold, change the color to something, ooh, green's fun, and then click off. And then finally, let me go ahead and scroll to the top, page one. You have the different options of different first page, meaning that whatever you put in the header or footer of the first page is not going to be duplicated into the other pages. So let's go ahead and check it, different first page, clears it out, but down below on page two, it keeps on to the data there, because the first page is different. Let's go ahead and click back up in the header section and uncheck it so it can duplicate what's on page two back up into here. You also have different odd and even pages. So when I check that, notice that page one is going to be odd. And then go down to page two because that's an even number. Click up here, it says even page header. So it doesn't duplicate over. So you have different odd and even pages. So think of it like a book. Typically on the first page of the book, the title page, you don't have a heading or a footer, so you have a different first page. And then when you're in the middle of the book reading, up at the top of the left page, you may have the author's name, then on the right page, the current chapter that you're in. So you get those different odd and even pages. Well, that's what we're talking about here. In any case, let's go ahead and uncheck it. If we're done, to get out of this view, you need to get out of the header or footer section, because up here on the View tab, you don't get that option. So you got to click out into a cell here, and then you can go ahead and see that it's now highlighted or emboldened for us to go to the normal view. If I go back to the page layout, and I go to, again, for emphasis, like a header or a footer section, it's focusing on you making changes to the header or footer so it doesn't allow you to get out of there. To get out of there, you got to get out of there. you got to click outside the header or the footer section and then go to the normal view and control home and then to see what it looks like in print preview before we print it off to make sure we got our headers and footers because those aren't going to show in the normal view. Just in the page layout here or file, down to print, in the print preview. Hey, there's the picture of the little kid. Go ahead and click on it to zoom in. And that's okay. Click on it to zoom out. So we have my name, the current time, page one of two, and then the date, and then on page two, page two of two, and everything else that we had duplicating in the header section and in the footer section on every page that we're printing out. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.